We're taping. We're taping. We're taping. So, David, look, we're, David and I are two bass players. And now we have here, David, the bass player, the singer and the bass player. What a relationship. I know. Hi, Lee. It takes three bass players to add up to a one singer. No, that's not true. That's not true. It takes three singers to add up to one bass player. Oh, I see. You've got three of us. You've got three. We've got three bass players right here. Yeah, that's um, it. Well, I'm just I'm just going to bask in the glory. I'm going to I'm going to listen to the bass talk because it's so that bass players have the best stories. They do. They have, they have the best backstage stories. They 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 really uh you know have good collections of 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 uh, tales to tell. Yeah, we're, we're the ones. That, we're the ones that still care. <laughs> That's but exactly right. we don't have a job unless it's the singer songwriter. Okay, yeah. we'll be unemployed. We'd be three unemployed guys. Kate, what do you look for in a bass player? Uh, well, it's got to have a long white beard. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check it out. Well, the good news is we're not going to take your job. <laughs> 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 well, I have had the, such good fortune in my in my uh, musical life. I've played. I've had. I've worked with some wonderful players, and and the 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 uh, you know uh, the the glory of being able to work with uh, someone like of the caliber of musicianship as Lee Clar is. I I uh, you know it sort of set a tone for me because I would Leland recorded on my first album. He played bass on my first That's album right. 50, fifty years ago. And so and then I watched him from afar as he played with all these other incredible players, including my brother who he played with for, you know, decades and decades and, right. and continues, right. you know, and it continues. But we but uh Leland and I uh I didn't get a chance to work with him again until we made this new album, which right. we just put out. So, uh, you know, you, you, we, there's just a sense when you're a singer that there's somebody who's got your back. Uh, and that is a really good feeling um, with a bass player, uh, you know, that the bass player really does, uh, you know, it's like the heartbeat of the band. And, um, and, uh, Lee is a master at this, and, and so, you know, I want to hear you bass players talk. Well, Lee, you find yourself in many situations. Last time I saw you, you were with uh, Billy Cobham on the uh, anniversary tour. Oh, how, when, yeah. when you get a call from Kate, what, how, what is your approach to the, to the recording process? Do you ask for demos first? Do you like to come in fresh? Uh, no, they, they did, a, a, she and Peter Asher, and uh, Jeff Allen Ross did a, did a lot of prep homework. So when we arrived in the studio, um, they had pretty well thought out what they wanted to do. It was just a matter of us coming in and they had baked the cake and it was a delicious cake. They just needed some frosting and decoration on it. And that's kind of where it came because the album came together very, very quickly. Yeah, we, we really had a sort of a limited amount of time within which we to, to pull it off. And so Peter and Jeff, Alan Ross really did a masterful job. And, and I guess I was in there to some degree, you know, just getting getting all the, the arrangements and ideas for the, you know, tempos and feel and stuff. And, and uh, uh, had it all, they really were quite organized. So so I, uh, but, but, but you call on the, you know, the A players when you've got, you know, a Herculean amount of songs to record in a short amount of time and they right. boom. They really, they really, you know, stepped up. Plus, which these guys have all played together for yeah. so years and years, and so they kind of, you know, they don't have to talk. They just think on the same. <laughs> yeah, I mean, having having Russ Kunkel, yep. and you know, for me, it's like every time I work with Russ, it's like digging into the into the uh, uh, closet and finding those old slippers, and you put them on. Oh, that. You know, it's just a natural thing. And the thing that's weird is it's not a nostalgic thing because I felt that way with Russ the first day we played together 50 right. plus years ago. Um, and then having Cooch there one day and having Albert Lee there and right. Roddy. You know, I mean, it was an amazing bunch. And basically, almost, I think almost everything we got in the first or second takes. Yeah, it's uh, true. It, was, it, it went very quickly because, yeah. um, and also it makes a big difference uh, when the artist is there. 
Because, oh. then, because then there's no, because then it becomes a, a song and not a chart. Right. And, right. and it, there's a real difference when I do sessions and the artist isn't there and there's nobody getting, you know, doing vocals or they got somebody doing scratch. And then when you hear the vo real artists come in, suddenly you go, oh God, that's the vibe we were looking for. Oh. So, so it was a real, you know, a treat to walk in every day. Plus, um, Kate, you, you exude an aura of enthusiasm <laughs> that, that is really infectious for the whole room. I mean, everybody just steps up because you're, you're kind of where it all comes from. And if there's a, that excitement and enthusiasm, everybody goes to that. If the artist comes in and they're sort of a pant load and just sitting in the back and not contributing, um, <laughs> you kind of, your, your give a shit level kind of, it's one notch down. But um, I have to say it was, it was such an enjoyable experience to be back in. And the thing that I just kept sitting there going, how can she still look so adorable 50 years later? And I've turned into this old curmudgeon that's sitting in the corner <laughs> of the room and just going, what the hell? What the that's, what the, that's, that, that's called the rose colored glasses. Um, <laughs> this is why, this is why we, we uh, lose our sight over time, you know, and says, yes. uh, oh yeah. yeah, there we go. <laughs> Yeah, I know. It's good that the eyes are the, generally the first to go. And then yeah. you, you don't have to listen to all this crap that people are talking <laughs> Or see your belly growing at the same time. <laughs>